Hello, so I thought I would um, answer some questions with every video that I post so I don't have to talk about my process because there's really not much to talk about, I guess. So I'm going to answer a few questions that you all asked in the previous video and um, hopefully I'll get about five questions in five minutes and I'll take a few from Instagram as well. Okay, so the first one is by Dollar Patel and I'm just going to read the question part which is I would like to ask what you do what once you're done with the drawing, could you redraw it again in any software and then use it or just scan it and use it for printing? So once I'm done with uh, these paintings, I don't actually do anything with them. I pretty much just store them. And I definitely don't redraw uh, drawings only because I find that incredibly boring. <laughs> but um, I know a lot of uh, hardcore watercolor artists, um, they end up doing a test painting and then they actually do the real painting um i'm not like that i think i'm a little lazy <laughs> and so, um i just do it straight up and i don't scan it and i don't use it for um products or uh, use anything i end up taking photographs of the painting um always so even if i have to post it online it just ends up being a photograph okay next one deepika ramchandni says may i ask uh, how do you use Procreate for illustration using scanned images of such watercolor hand painted artworks? Um, so I don't use Procreate uh, for these, again, for these paintings. Um, I use uh, Procreate just to draw. Um, I, I just directly draw on Procreate and color. And uh, rarely, I, uh, rarely do I import a scanned image and then uh, color it digitally on Procreate. I end up using uh, Photoshop for that. But yeah, so like I mentioned before, so I don't actually use these paintings for anything. Maybe in the future I would, but uh, right now I think I'm just still getting the hang of it. Um, okay, and the next one, Rina Fernandez says, um, what software do you need to do digital coloring and did you learn it on your own? Um, so I, they are multiple. Uh, I end up using Photoshop for 90% of my work, and maybe I, I and I play around with Procreate a lot as well, which is an app on the iPad, which I use on the iPad Pro. Um, and uh, I absolutely, I mean, Photoshop is like my third hand at this point. And yes, I did learn it on my own. I think uh, when I started learning it, there were a few places I could learn, but it's mostly by just doing. But now there's like so many classes available online. And uh, besides that, I think just YouTube. <laughs> it's amazing. This is so much you can uh, get from it. Um, and even after knowing, like, I feel like I know a lot about Photoshop, but even then, there's like a million things I can still. It's like such a actually in-depthly complicated software it's amazing um yeah <laughs> so i got a few questions from instagram uh, just two more so that it works out to about five questions so shruti pcs says what phone holder is that and where do you find it um so on my video on my highlights on instagram there's a uh, one of the highlights is called tools and under there i, I don't know if i linked it up but i talked about the um, holder which is uh, one that I picked up from Amazon and I think it's by this company called Iceberg Makers I think they source it and it's, it's, so far it's been really good I've only used it a few times but it's better than the other ones I've tried and used before and I needed something that would s stick or maybe hold from the top and this one seems to be doing it quite decently well um, yeah and it's, so it's available on Amazon.in and uh, Tanya Rigson says, can you tell me which paint box is the small one? I'm not sure. I think I, I talked about this in the previous um, video, but in case I didn't, I bought a smaller watercolor box called uh, Sennelia. And I've heard about it a lot before. And it's so it's really, the colors are really vibrant and stuff like that. But it's so insanely expensive. I'm guessing it's because of the import. I don't even know. But it is so insanely expensive that I only bought the baby little one, um, which has got basic colors in it. So I don't end up using it as much, really. But um, I mean, I do. <laughs> I use it for outlines and stuff. I don't know. But it's it's really nice. But it's, uh, it's quite expensive. The one I use most of the time is just the Koi uh watercolor which i really like um 
yeah and that and i bought them both on amazon as well <laughs> okay thank you i'll do more of these and do message i mean just write in the comment section if there's anything you'd like me to talk about or if there's any questions you have thank you